you used to have an accent like uh, like Brad Pitt when you were younger? The making a deal. The very little mag of you. <laughs> it's a fair, it's a fair deal, now take it. Hi guys, I'm Stephen Gillen. For those of you who don't know me, I've had my own unfortunate journey into the darkness of organized crime for many years, ending up with a 17 year sentence as a category A inmate, even being released as a category A inmate after many years in the world of organized crime. Thanks everyone who's been engaging with the channel, engaging with my story, engaging with the wonderful work we've been doing, reacting to all the classic gangster films out there. Today we got another wonderful film, guys. I know everyone's been asking for this and waiting for this. It's Guy Ritchie's British classic, Snatch. Let's have a look and see just how authentic it is. Look me now, you dirty fucker, won't you? Shits himself when you put him in a ring. Poke him with a stick, you watch his bollocks grow. Bricktop is an iconic character in this. I knew people very, very similar to Bricktop, but he's done a really great job here, Guy Ritchie, of injecting that, you know, that tongue-in-cheek kind of humour into this, which is a very dark, violent script, but it's a very hard thing to do. We're changing a fighter. Oh, fuck me, your lady friend got a voice. And who might you be changing him to, sweetheart? You won't know him. And I've been in many meetings, you know, I've said I've known people that have been like this. It speaks, right? Look, you've still got your fight. No, I lose all bets at the bookies. You can't change fighters at the last minute. So no, I don't have my fight, do I? You fucking prats. And of course, there was a lot of people that I know in this, even faces of the day that appeared in Snatch, who I know, you know, a lot of people, a lot of names, and you see them in there in the background in a lot of these scenes. You know, and I have to say, with uh, Brad, Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt went down to a friend of mine, Bobby Franklin, who's the Franklin family, they're well known, you know, not just for fair play and everything else, in a lot of the bare knuckle fights that go on, you know, they're well known, really a well known family, you know, and they went down there, spent some time with them, you know, to learn how to play the character that Brad Pitt plays in there, and how to rip their shirt off, you know, to have a row, right? Drop the screen now. How you doing, Vince? I've been doing a lot better. You stop using my name. <laughs> Feel that back. All bets are off. I am not in here to make a fucking bet. <laughs> and she plays a, she plays a great part. <laughs> you see, and it's great because the dialogue is so punchy. She says all bets are off. I'm not in here to make a fucking. Bear, right, and it's great. But these kind of devices within Snatch, you know, for a director or a writer or a producer and the actors propel the narrative really quickly. And that's what makes these characters so interesting. What do you mean? Come on, fucking cool! I mean, this bird in there, she's really something, right? But she, you know, she's a memorable character. She's only in there for a minute, but she's got you within that scene. What are you doing, Richard? The case was attached to his arm. So why didn't you drop it off? Why? We ain't fucking butchers, Boris. Because of the case. Boris the Blade is another in-your-face, standout, memorable character. Guy Ritchie uses these characters masterfully all the way through this script you know, as a, as a device to bounce through the scenes. So they come in and out of each other's lives and they bring their own kind of chaos and madness. <laughs> you know, I mean, I have to say, especially in the garden, you know, even in the old days, that garden, you know, and I, I've known characters similar to this, you know, in many ways. And what Guy Ritchie's done is he's overlaid, you know, in a skillful way, that bit of tongue and cheek humour against the darkness throughout this film. And that's because we're being generous. 
I mean, we could by all rights keep the old fucking stone, Boris. <laughs> and it's great here because they don't know what they're dealing with either. And I love the way the dog is in this with the diamond. Typical Russian, he's a lunatic, he's thinking. This is not working, so he's going to go straight back to violence and brute strength. Now you're listening, right? He's thinking. You know, you've got these lot in there. Of course, they don't know what they're dealing with. So as these characters navigate this script, there's a lot of this. That's, that's a great thing about Guy Ritchie and a wonderful part of the experience of Snatch. Well, do you want to do it? That depends. On what? On you. Hey, this kind of a... Ah... Uh... Not the rules, but the rules. And this is great as well, because again, you see the same trick. You know, he's got the different culture. He's got the travelling boys, right? Really tight-knit family. bare knuckle boxers, and of course he's brought them in. You know, they're very memorable, very exciting, very humorous. Just how the traveller community worked. Buying a Torch Mobile Palace is a little fucking rich. <laughs> Calling your mum a tar, I just meant. And I save your breath and cured your parts. <laughs> hey, look, she wants a heck of two roof lights. And I have to say with Brad Pitt, what a what a what a masterful actor. How he how he pulls this off is just so much skill, you know, in the delivery. And he's got it down to a T, but with that hint of humour in it, fantastic part he plays in this, I have to say. Fuck it. <laughs> how about you for it? You're what? You're bad to parents. What, like Tommy did last time? Do me a favour. I'll do you a favour. You have force me. <laughs> if I win, I get a car to run. Snatch is a great one, because I know all these characters very well within my own journey, right? Some of the best of them. Great people, great characters. So I have to laugh at the delivery of this and how he's put it together. It's a, it's a, it's a great journey, Snatch because of the characters, not just the story arc and, you know, the violence and the other stuff going on. That's what I love about this classic British gangster film. One of the best, I think, of all time. Did you used to have an accent like, uh, like Brad Pitt when you were younger? The making deal, there's a very little mag of you. Right? <laughs> it's, a fair, it's a fair deal, now take it. But it's great, look. You know, I mean, I know a lot of guys like that. You know, they're proper guys, right? They have their own kind of way, especially with the Irish, the way that's delivered. You know, and some people, they wouldn't understand that. I understand it, you know, because I grew up with a lot of this, right? But some people, they wouldn't understand it. So it's a great opportunity, you know, to put that out there and play with it. And, of course, it always moves. So there's all these firms and these memorable characters coming in and there's all the chaos and it's always all at stake and they're all chasing the same thing so it's very easy when you watch a film they go from one calamity one dilemma one challenge to the other it's a great way to keep the film moving forward here we have Bridgetop now who comes in of course he's got his own brand of madness while well, she was asleep in it Yeah, this was good as well, you know, because it you know, shows a bit of the layers about what the traveller community are like. There's some very, very proper people in that world as well. You know, they have a certain culture as well and a lot of certain codes about things. I've known many over the years. Some of the, some of the main families, you know, have been friends of mine as I've gone through my journey, and um, they're very interesting. Some of them, as I say, very proper people. Is it possible for it to ever get so bad in that life that people's family members are involved in hits, just like with Mickey's mum? Absolutely, unfortunately, yeah. You know, darkness and violence like this will always breed more violence and more darkness. This is uh, the way that life is, and the stuff that it brings up. Do you know who I am? I do. <laughs> Brick top's great. Of course, this is the worst thing to say. Do you know who I am? What kind of bullshit is that? Who are you? You know, you know, it'd be the next thing. I don't really care who you are. But Brick top plays a lovely, a lovely nemesis. You know, against everything here. Of course, we know what happens at the end of the film, right? 
is cut up a corpse into six pieces and pile it all together. <laughs> he plays it lovely. He's always got that humour in there. But he's got the proper ways of batting brick top. He's well cast. He, uh, he carries it. Like a lot of the characters do in this wonderful film. So be wary of any man who keeps a pig farm. And this, I have to say, is to bet one of the best lines that I think in the whole film. Never trust a man who owns a pig farm. <laughs> sure name? <laughs> Shoot him. Ooh. Tony Jones plays a great part here as well. But you see, he can, because the scripting's right and the dialogue's right. He gets the delivery wonderful here. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great scene. Guy Ritchie really is very, very good at the art of this. This is what makes him very, very special in this genre and has really lifted this film to where it is. It's, uh, it's very skillfully done. For fuck's sake, do not knock him out. And this is great. Don't knock him out. But of course, he can't help it. He's not going to be taken as an island there all the time. He's just waiting his time. He's been knocked out, that's what it's like, swimming. The land of no sand and colour, right? It's a great bit of cinematography. Now, we are fucked. And in this way, at the end of the film, this is another story arc that pulls, pulls the narrative together of all these different uh, warring factions, you know, with Brit Chop, the pursuit of the diamond, the power, you know, the money, the influence, you know, and settling the old deeds as what has gone on, and especially at the end towards, you know, with the traveller community and what turns out with them and Brick Chop as all scores are settled. It had previously occurred to me that the gypsy had taken the demise of his mother rather lightly. For every action, there's a reaction. The reaction has a reaction. That's right. You see, and this is the premise, really, of the script and the motivation at the end to finish this wonderful film in Act Three. That is when I clocked the pike, he had money riding on himself. In the UK's gambling world, was it common for bets to be rigged the way it is in this film? It's always gone on and it's part of the gambling world, so I will say that. Did you ever experience anyone rigging? Yes, on more than a few occasions. What do I think of Guy Ritchie's wonderful depiction of the British underworld in Snatch? I've got to give it a good nine because it's very skillfully done. The characters are well casted and woven. I know there was a lot of time, a lot of proper people, even authentic people throughout and within this film. What do I give it for cinematography? I think it's, it's, it's not the highest level of cinematography, but it, it's very well done and what it lacks in the real big massive budget movie of course it has in its cast and its characters and its scripting and its story arcs and in its wonderful wonderful big name actors and punchy dialogue he definitely improved from the first uh, film lock stock two smoking barrels this is a you know another level we can see that with all the wonderful actors involved in the project and it will certainly be and always be seen as a British classic gangster film. Guys, thanks a lot. I'm really glad you're enjoying the content. We're going in there to some other really, really exciting, really gripping playlists on the channel. 
a lot more coming. Keep engaged. Thank you for your support. Let us know below about any other films you want me to react on. Of course, I'm Stephen Gillen as well now. Transformed from that old life, for those of you who don't know me, CEO of Raw Media Creative Studios. Glad you're enjoying the content, guys. Let's keep going together. Take care out there now, and of course, be lucky.